All right, hey, Lizzie Maker here. So, uh, the car is pretty much almost ready to run. I have to kind of go through the inside of the car a little bit to see if I have any parts left over. I think the strut bar is still there, but I don't. That doesn't need to go on to for the car to run. Um, but here's a kind of like what I'm working with today. I wanted to put add grommets to those uh, those uh, intercooler brackets, um, so it has some you know some vibration dampening, and uh, yeah. That way the brackets won't crack or anything. And um, I'm gonna try to get those uh, that uh, that busted bolt off of the cross member. So I'm gonna remove the cross member today. Like uh, I just can't. Um, it's just something that I don't like. Uh, I don't feel that's good to be missing a bolt for the cross member. So I'm gonna try to fix that today. I'll drill it out, pull it out. I got a bolt extractor and left hand drill bits here on my drill so hopefully we can get that done um, so first uh, I'm gonna get a uh, get the grommets together though all right so I've kind of done the first one uh, you can kind of see I kind of sandwiched a uh, a grommet in there I didn't quite um I didn't put it I didn't install it into the bracket because I didn't want to take the pipe out again it's kind of a pain in the ass so I'll just leave that like that for now it's better than nothing you know it still moves actually the whole this whole radiator support thing moves a little bit, so I guess it's okay. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to start, uh, um, I'm probably going to do uh, this pipe, the, inner, the intake pipe here, and, uh, and that solenoid that's on the firewall. Alright, so, um, so it doesn't seem like there's enough meat to put the grommets on, the brackets. That's the one I'm trying to do right now. So it looks like what I'm just going to do is uh, I'm just going to use, so the guy that uh, worked on this car before me, he used the uh, washers, these washers right here, these washers right here. So instead of putting those washers back in, I'm just going to put the grommet, I'm going to use the grommet as a washer. And then uh, that should help. Because uh, there's just not enough meat on the bracket for me to, to put these uh, grommets in. Right, the thing is I've kind of found out that these, uh, these wires here are all uh, not in good shape. This one is about ready to go. Uh, I'm probably just gonna. It's probably it looks like a basic spade connector, so I'll probably use that. So I'm just trying not to break it. I would like to get the car running, you know. <sighs> Let me just stick that right there right, out of the way. It's on there. Uh, yeah, I think I should have cleaned this before I put it back on, but uh, it's too late now. I think it'll be pretty easy to take it off, anyways. But um. Yeah, so I put the I put the bracket on there, and I just used the grommet as a washer. I, I was drilling the hole, and I'm like, man, this is gonna be a fucking one huge hole, you know? So uh, yeah, I decided not to. I just use it as a, a grommet. It's got some play. That's good. It's got some play in the front and the back, so that'll work. So I did that one, and then that one, and then I'm gonna do the intake right now, the, right there. So. There you go. Almost done. I pretty much got the car back together. Um, yeah, so this one I didn't put that grommet in. Um, hopefully it doesn't break the bracket, but whatever. I, I, I even uh, thought about just not even putting the bolt back in. This is such a pain in the ass to get back in. It's like, you can see it's hiding back there. That black bracket. So, uh, I'm having a problem. I found out I didn't connect the EGR. So that's good, I found that. Um, one problem I'm having is this one. I don't know where this goes. I know, I'm pretty sure it goes to the blow-off valve or the bypass valve, because it goes all the way down there where the bypass valve goes. But I don't remember where this goes. And I don't really see any other vacuum ports left. Um, I would figure it'd have to go around here somewhere, right? Right, right, somewhere around here. But uh, I don't know, so I'm gonna have to go look it up online where I kind of connect this. Cause, uh, I would like my bypass valve to work. <laughs> Something uh, it's good to have for your turbo. All right. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much done. Um, the battery and the coolant, and um, check the oil real quick, because uh, the oil might be low. I know. I don't know. So uh, yeah, pretty much done. Well, so yeah, here's apparently this hose doesn't go anywhere because. I trace it to the bottom of the car and it goes to like a, a screw or a plug 
The one for the blow-off valve is this hose right here. Oh yeah, I never, I never take it out. I guess so. Yeah, that's this big hose right here. And it goes all the way down here to the blow-off valve. That's right here. <sighs> Right here. So there you go. There's the synapse law valve. It's supposed to be a good law valve. Better than the one G. And then this is the this is where that hose goes. Nowhere apparently. So if I need an extra if I need an extra vacuum hose, uh, here's one. <laughs> this one's got some monster hose on it. It's kind of weird. It's Oh, it's a. Uh, it's kind of weird. Yeah, the hose is like really hard. All right, so okay. I got everything connected now, supposedly. Um, so now it's time to add the coolant and check the oil. So I got a a little more than I got a lot more than half. Almost, I got three quarters of a gallon of distilled water here, so I'm just gonna um, just gonna pour this in here, and then just uh, pour a little bit in there, and then keep on pouring it back in here, so I can get it close to 50/50. All right, there goes brand new coolant. So I used that whole jug of water. I, apparently, one gallon isn't enough to fill it. I don't know. Or that's more than one gallon. Oh yeah. It's about one gallon, so uh, so damn. I'm gonna have to go. Uh, I'm gonna have to go to like Safeway or something and get some more water. Uh, I guess I better get like two while I'm there. It's cheap. It's only two bucks, but uh, great. It's gonna take up my time. So uh, yeah, it's a little messy. Ugh. Um, there's some water in there. It's not full, definitely. Um, so I'm gonna go check the oil, and uh, maybe I'm gonna throw the battery in there real quick. And then, uh, then I'll go hop in the Eclipse and uh, we'll get some more water. Maybe clean up a little. And then, uh, yeah, I gotta start working on that cross member. In fact, I'll probably take that cross member out before I take off also. I went ahead right, and took this, uh, this cross member out and uh, it really doesn't have anything. Uh, what I found out is this doesn't really, this connects the, this part of the subframe right here to the back part of the subframe right over right over yonder the transmission right behind the transmission and uh, and you know what I found out it does absolute it holds up absolutely nothing you could probably drive without that you know um, maybe I won't worry about it I don't know um, maybe I want to take it put it on a lift or something to, to, to fix this because <laughs> there's not a lot of space to work under there um, so yeah, basically what this is is a this on the on on that car it's totally different. Um, on that car it it has a front and a rear mount like this, but there's also a motor mount in the front. So um, so yeah, there's there's no front motor mount on this car. I'm just realizing that right now. Oh no no okay I see. The motor mount is hooked up to uh, to this cross member right here. This one. So whereas um, on the second gen Eclipse, I don't know, I, I can take a look real quick. It's really, it's really, really low under there. But if you take a look at the second gen Eclipse, see this, this cross number that runs underneath here. It also serves as the front motor mount. So it's a, uh, it's different. The the frame is much different on the 1G, or at least the Gallant compared to the second gen Eclipse. It's much more much more simpler on that car. Uh, I'm assuming they probably made it this way because this is this car is a little wider than the Eclipse. That's what I'm thinking. I think it is. I'm not sure. Looks wider. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah so I don't know. Maybe I'll put it back on. Um, I'll see if I can get that that part of the bolt out. We'll see how easy it is to get out. If it's winding up being too much work, then I won't worry about it too much. It is a stiffening brace. It, it's there to add rigidity to the front of the car. So I would think it would be a good thing if you, uh, you know, if you fix that.
busted bolt back there. It's basically like a strut bar, you know? Uh, not really, but, you know, it's a, what's that, what's that? Oh, it's a tie bar is what it is. It's a tie bar. It ties one part of the, um, the frame to the other. Kind of like that one I have on that car. But uh, instead of going horizontal, this one goes uh, vertical. Or longitudinal, whatever they call it. Alright, so uh gonna clean up and uh, go get some uh, okay, so, more uh, distilled water. It's full of water now. I have uh, let's see, it's all the way to the filler now. Um, so uh, it really only needed like less than half a gallon. And then I poured whatever was extra into the overflow. It might suck it up, I don't know. Um, but yeah, hey, it's pretty much ready to go. Once I drop that battery in there, we can crank this thing up and fire it up. But uh, let's see if it'll work on the cross member for a little bit. But uh, so yeah, I'll, I actually uh, also added some water. Since I had some distilled water, I'm like, meh. Let's check the battery, and sure enough, the battery was like a little bit low on water. So I added some water. I'm going to go throw it on the trickle charger real quick and then put it back in the car. All right. So I gotta work on that cross now. To give you an idea of what I'm working with here. So there's the bolt in there. Looks like somebody tried to drill it out and they didn't quite make it and they gave up. What the hell is this? Like a transmission or... Yeah, what is this? It's like some kind of hose or something. It goes into the transmission. It's kind of weird. Anyway. Yeah, it's kind of in a weird, a hard place to work. It's like in the almost the center of the car. I don't know. I may not bother for now. Oh, but yeah, I'll try to get it. Let's see if I can get even get the drill in there. I don't know if I can get it in there. It's probably better to do this on a lift. All right, here's what I got. Yeah. Okay. So there's uh what I've got done so far. I've uh I've worked on the. I used that uh Dremel right there with that bit. It's like kind of like it must be a carbide bit because it's it's still it's still sharp. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I got it wide enough, I got it big enough where I can get this big uh, bolt extractor in there, and it's kind of like uh, the hole is more in the center now, so hopefully this big one can pull it out. I think I was able to actually turn the bolt a little bit with the smaller one, but the hole got too big, it won't grip anymore, so hopefully this one will work. I, I hammered it in, but I don't have anything to, uh, to grip it is the problem, so I'm going to have to find something. Because uh, mine is the, the other one. This one is too small. It won't grab onto that. So keeping at it. Well, I figure. Um, what I figure I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just. Um, I might just when the car is started, I'm gonna drive it up on the ramps, and then it'll be higher, and I'll have more room to work with. So that'll be good. All right. So I'm gonna see if I can get that bolt to come out, but uh. If not, I'll just call it a night. I'll try to fire the car right, so up. I tried. I got it in there, and it was like super tight. And I used this long 10 millimeter to uh, to unscrew it, and uh, it wasn't budging at all. I think that thing is like it's sheared in there, and I'm gonna have to drill it out and retap it maybe. Um, so I think that's, I'm gonna call that it for tonight for this. So uh, let's go get this car started. I got the, the batteries. Fully charged. Just gonna leave the cross number off. Let's go start this panel. Out.